Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Behringer Wing set up as a speaker processor, speaker crossover point, basically setting this thing up to be a bi-amp or a tri-amp or a left, right, plus sub. There's a lot of different options that we have available to us, and this video is going to show you how. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, I made this video on the Behringer X32 recently, which here's the link for you right there. But a couple of you guys asked if I could make this for the Behringer Wing, so here it is. Now, on the Behringer Wing, there is an effect emulation called the Speaker Manager, and we can find that by going to our effects section and just simply pressing on one of the plus signs over here, and we can see Speaker Manager. And then I'm actually going to apply two of these um, so we can just save a little bit of time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed my left right bus into my matrix section. Now the matrix section is kind of like an aux send for my main bus. So we all have our main bus sitting here. So I have my left right bus and I have a little bit of pink noise playing into it just so we have some meters. But if I go and select my left right bus and go look at my EQ, we can see that I have pink noise playing. But what I want to do is I want to take this left right bus and I want to apply crossover settings to this to be able to feed a subwoofer and then my mains separately. So what I'm going to use is the matrix section over here. So I'm going to select my matrix one and I'm going to go ahead and title this and this is going to be mains. And then I'm going to select my matrix two and this one's going to be subs. Now, just a reminder, on the Behringer Wing, it's a little bit different than the Behringer X32. The Behringer Wing has stereo mix buses, stereo buses, stereo mains, stereo matrices. So I don't have to link one and two like I do on the X32. It's just simply a stereo matrix. Now, you can also treat it as a mono matrix, and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. But with my mains, I'm going to want to send my audio from my main left-right bus into this matrix. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and select our main left-right bus, and we're just simply going to go down here to the bottom, and this is our matrix sends page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on on my mains and on on my subs, and I'm just going to adjust this to be at zero. And then I'm going to go and select my subs here, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I can turn these up, and we can actually listen to them here. So watch your ears here. So there's our mains, and here's our subs. Now, they are identical currently because it's being sent off the left right bus to these two matrices. But let's actually go and implement our EQ now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute those so we don't have to listen to that noise. I'm going to select my mains, and I am going to go to my insert point. And I'm going to do this on my insert point before the EQ. Now, why is that? Well, I want to be able to fine-tune some EQ outside of the speaker manager. There are some EQ settings inside of the speaker manager, but I want to be able to have my EQ settings after that speaker manager. So um, we have my insert point selected here, and I'm going to go and select my first speaker manager, and then I'm going to turn it on. Now, one thing to note about turning this on is it does apply 0.69 milliseconds of latency. So there is 0.69 milliseconds of delay through this speaker manager. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my subs. I'm going to go to my second little section here, and I'm going to make this mono. And that just simply takes my left and right and combines it into one. So when I'm doing my patching later, there still is going to be a matrix two left and a right. They are identical, so it doesn't matter which one you patch from from the matrix two because we have set this up as mono. Next, we're going to go to our insert point before the EQ, and I'm going to select my second speaker manager, and I'm going to turn it on. So moving back to the mains here, this is the speaker manager. Now, we have a couple of settings here on our filters. We have a high pass, which we have the ability of adjusting our frequency by clicking that and then turning our one touch knob over here. And then we have our filter types. So we have our filter types of flat, Butterworth, Bessel, Linkwitz Riley, 
all the way down. So we have all of these different filter types. We also have a tilt EQ, which is similar to the channel tilt EQ and allows us to either make something more bassy or more trebly. So we can go ahead and listen to that here. And so here it is more bassy. And here it is more trebly. Now another thing we can do is we can actually adjust our frequency anywhere from 100 hertz all the way to 10 kilohertz. And it defaults centered at one kilohertz. So the next thing that we have is our low pass. We have that right here and we can select that. And we can tune this anywhere from 20 hertz all the way to 20 kilohertz. And it defaults at two kilohertz. We then have a phase knob. Now this is interesting because this allows us to change the actual phase of the audio. Now I was testing this earlier and I actually found that there was a 90 degree phase shift at one kilohertz when it was set to 130 on here. So if we set our phase knob to be 130, then that means that there is going to be a 90 degree phase shift at one kilohertz. So you can use this to fine tune your phase adjustment without adding any extra latency, which is very interesting. So I'm going to put this back down to zero. We also have precision delay. Now we can click here or we can just turn our distance knob. Now this allows us to change the distance of our speakers and fine tune them to make it so that they are matching in time. Now I would recommend using a dual FFT program for fine tuning this like Smart from Rational Acoustics or Open Sound Meter. Both of those two programs are going to allow you to use a microphone and an output out of your audio console to be able to fine tune your monitors or your speakers and subwoofers and there's a whole lot of things that you can do with that. Now precision delay or this distance allows us to change our distance anywhere from from zero to five meters. So this is just roughly under 15 milliseconds at the maximum. Now position is something that's very interesting. It allows us to change the distance of our left and our right speakers. So say you are mixing slightly off center and you don't care about the audience, but you want to be dead center in the stereo spectrum and you are slightly off center, what you can do is you can use this position knob to slightly adjust the PA distance wise to center that stereo spectrum right where you are in the mix position that you're at. Moving on here, we have our dynamic EQ, and this allows us to have a dynamic EQ on our speaker sends. Lastly, we have a limiter here that we can activate. But this video is all about getting our left-right bus sent to left-right mains and subs. So let's go ahead and get this set up. So I'm gonna start with my subs and I'm gonna unmute the noise here. And on my subs, I'm going to set a low pass filter at 100 Hertz. So we're going to take my low pass filter frequency, set this all the way down to 100 Hertz. Now it's gonna be 100.2. We're then gonna to go to our filter type and I'm going to select Linquist Riley 24 dB. And so we can see and hear that the tonality of this changed. So this is all the subwoofer information that the subwoofer is going to be receiving. Now, likewise, we need to do a similar thing to the mains here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my mains and I'm gonna unmute that noise. And I'm going to set a high pass filter at 100.2 Hertz. So there we go. And I'm going to select the same filter, Linkwitz Riley 24 dB. And so now we can hear that with my mains and my subs, we still get the full spectrum of frequency that we were getting before. If I go and mute my mains, here's just my subs, and likewise, here's just my tops without the subwoofer. Now, if we were wanting to go one step farther with this and make a triamp system, meaning that there's a low, mid, and a high set of drivers, all we would have to do is add one more matrix and one more speaker processor. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to select my matrix three and I'm going to name this low. And then I'm going to go to my matrix two and name this mid. And then I'm gonna to go to my mains and I'm going to call this high. So we have my high, my mid, and my low. And one thing about my mid is I'm going to need to unmono this so that it is a stereo 
left, right on high, mid, and low. This is going to be for a triamp system. So let's go ahead and go to my left, right bus, and I'm going to send it to matrix three and turn that up to zero. And if I raise this up, then we're going to get to zero dB there, and I'm going to go ahead and mute this. Now, I'm going to go to my effects section, and I'm going to make myself a another speaker manager. And I'm going to then go and select my matrix three and go to my insert point before the EQ, and I'm going to select my speaker manager. So now we have a high, a mid, and a low sitting here for my speaker managers and my matrix sections. So let's start with our high. I'm going to set this so that our high pass is set to two kilohertz. Now, all of these settings would need to be specific to your speakers. So if you do have a triamp set up, then you would need to go find your manual and see what crossover settings that these need to be set at. I'm just going to make up some right now. So 2K and 100 Hertz are going to be my two different crossover points. So now we have my high, and it's going to be between 20 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz. My next thing that I'm going to do is set my mid. So I'm going to go to my low pass, and I'm going to set this to 2 kilohertz. And then I'm going to go to my high pass, and I'm going to set this to 100 hertz. So 100.2. The next thing I'm going to do is go and select my Lankwitz Riley 24 dB. And so we can see that I have my high, my mid, and then we need to set my low. So I'm going to go to my low pass, and I'm going to set this to 100.2 hertz. And I'm going to go and select my Lankwitz Riley 24 dB. So now I have my high, my mid, and my low. And all of these are, I do need to turn this on, that would be bad. So here we have my high, my mid, and my low. So now my speakers from my left right bus are being sent to my high, my mid, and my low drivers of my main PA. If I needed to set up a subwoofer additional to this, I could take up an additional matrix and set a high pass filter on my subs, or on my lows in this case, and then have my subwoofers there as well. As far as routing these things, we would just simply go to routing, go to our outputs that we need to, say my local outs here, and I would go and select from my matrix section. So here we have my highs, my mids, and my lows. This brings me to the conclusion of this video. If you do happen to have any questions, feel free to post in the comment section below. Also, if there's a video that you're hoping that I will make on any of the products that are out there, feel free to post that in the comment section as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are gonna be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.